<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, you all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony! Last time we left off, we were still investigating the new areas around the school, which we found... Kaito's Ultimate Lab, which is like a spiral staircase leading up to the 6th floor. And then... Uh, the keys also used another place, you know, the door right next to our lab. It was booby-trapped, and it, apparently it reveals Rantaro's ultimate lab, but because he's dead, apparently there's a new rule that Monokuma just uh, stated that, oh, the person's dead, you can't go in there. And it's like, well, that sucks. So, as of right now, the only person we have not seen their ultimate lab of is Kokichi. Anyway, and uh, and also Sumugi found the hidden words or like the, the lettering, and it's like, oh my god, what does that mean? And uh, right now we're like, well, we don't don't worry about that. Kaito's so adamant that he's gonna he's gonna save us all. He's gonna get us out of here. We're like, sure, buddy. Anyway, we got some free time, so I mentioned that I would like to hang out with uh, Kaito. I'm not sure if it's gonna let us. We're gonna try. And if that doesn't work, I am... I was going back and forth on, like, do I go, like, a little bit with Sumugi, a little bit with Kibo, a little bit with Himiko. But you know what? I'm like... I, I was getting uh, presents off-screen. I'm like... I think I have a lot that I can do for Himiko, so I think I'm going to focus on her. It's no use. I wouldn't even know what to say to him. All right, and that, that's that's what I figured. We just won't be able to hang out with him, so let's find Himiko. Oh, she's right here. And uh, maybe I'll get her stuff all maxed out. Oh, and we got a little mon hidden Monokuma. If it'll let me grab it. Hey, how do I do this? It's right here. It's gonna bother me. It is X, right? Or is it another? There we go. I don't know why that took me forever. All right. I'm not really religiously hunting those down, but if I see it, I'll grab it. There's only seven of us. No wonder the dining hall feels so big now. Yeah, I'll hang out for a little while. Going to Mew. They were both loud people, but it's too, now it's too quiet here. It makes me think too much. Well, Tenko could could be loud sometimes. I spent some quiet time with her. Aww. And this time I won't press circle so I don't skip this out. Definitely. Now, like I mentioned, I was getting a lot of presents off screen, and I noticed I get a lot of these uh, right here. The Flame Thunder, a broom that lets mages fly at high speed and when they sit on it, it's a little bent, but it can also be used for cleaning. I'm like, you know what? I have seven of these. I, I think I can just give her multitudes of these and uh, we'll be good. Let's see. Ah. Yay! Oh, you clearly know what's important for a mage. Hmm. As thanks, I'll show you some of my magic. Uh, hey, Himiko. Uh, um, Himiko. What? What? She looks annoyed. Her glare is telling me to go away. Uh, um, if you don't want to talk to me, you could have turned me down. What a pain. I'm too lazy to say no. Hmm. Ah, I see. I've never met someone so thoroughly lazy. But. That is strange. Um, hey, Himiko, why did you decide to be a magician? Okay. I'm not a magician. I'm a mage, and I will use real magic. Don't get it wrong. Ugh. It's magic. It's real magic, okay? You get it, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Real magic, sure. I feel like this conversation will go nowhere if I disagree. It's magic. No, it's magic. How many times do I have to tell you... Huh? Huh? What? It's magic. Okay. Yeah, that's right. 
I just said it was magic. Ah. Yeah, you're right. It's magic. It's magic. Hmm. She looks really happy. Hmm. Anyway, what were we talking about? The, why I'm a mage? Why are you asking about that? That's... Well, because... Isn't it strange that such a lazy girl will go through such so much work for a magic trick? Remember, it seems like magic requires a ton of work to, uh, to prepare, so... Jeez. Uh, typical amateur question. You don't need annoying preparations for magic. <laughs> I see. I'm, a mage. I'm talented. Not relying on my talent would go against my master's techniques. Teachings. Hmm. Master? You have a master, Himiko? Yeah. Did I not tell you? Okay. This is the first time I'm hearing it. So there are apprentice magicians? Hmm. Mm, that's right. My master is an amazing archmage. Hey, wait! You called me a magician again! I'm a mage! Oops. <laughs> I had time- I spent time- uh, I had to spend time calming Himiko down, and we- we had quite- who, who had become quite pouty. I wonder what kind of person Himiko's master is. Hmm. You know, it's kind of weird talking to Himiko now, because it's like her personality did kind of change. She's not- I wouldn't say she's like- Super lazy now. She tries being more upbeat. Um, but yeah. Okay, some more free time. Let's see where she's at this time. And... Oh, wait. Yep, there she is. It's kind of weird. So both times she was kind of like away from everybody. Oh. Come on, there she is. Oh my god, did I hit the door? I did. Ugh. I did, it like, clicked, like, maybe a second after, like, I did it. I'm like, wait a minute. Ugh. That's fine. Keep going. There we go. Okay. There's one thing that's really upsetting me. Do you know what it is? Um... Uh, Let's hang out with her. Maybe she'll tell Hi. us. Why is my lab on the first floor? Height is power, you know. My lab is the one that should be on the top floor. She's a little... She's a little jealous. It's okay. She spoke passionately to me about magic. Uh, grew a little closer. Give her a present. And you get more brooms! Okay. She looks really bothered by something. Hey! Uh, Himiko? There's something I wanted to ask you. My magic's a trade secret. No. No, that's not it. I was wondering why you became a magician. Dude, mage! Mage! Oh, uh, sorry, a mage. You said you had a master. Did he inspire you? Mm. Mm. When I saw my master use his magic, I awakened as a mage. Is that all right? Um, just making sure, but... Did your master also say he was a mage, not a magician? What are you saying? Huh? My master is known around the world as a legendary mage. Mm. I see. Himiko insisting she's a mage is probably her master's influence. Okay. The first time I saw my master was on the stage during his magic show. The magic he performed was miraculous. Seeing it trigger the magic power seeing it trigger the magic power sleeping within me to awaken. But I didn't yet have the skill to control such powerful magic. Mm. Therefore, I studied under my master to confront my magic control my own magic. Mm. I see. I'm a mage. Fortunately, it only took a few years of training to become a full-fledged mage. Master let me sh let me help in this show as an assistant while I trained. My master taught me the fundamentals of magic. Because he trained me, people started calling me the ultimate mage. She's actually the ultimate magician, but I probably shouldn't bring that up. How about that? My master to learn his magic by studying around the world, you know. Extreme wind magic, levitation, extreme space magic, teleport, extreme meat magic, sawing a person in half, and many more. 
Extreme meat magic doesn't sound very magical. No, it doesn't. Sounds... Well, never mind. Jeez. My master made them all look simple, but they were hard for me to grasp. I want to teach you the basics, but the stars aren't aligned right now, so... Uh, I see. That's fine. So in return, this ultimate mage will answer any question for you. A question? Let me think. Uh... <laughs> I gotta ask the last one. What if a fly gets in your tele teleportation machine? Hmm. What happens if a fly touches you during teleportation? Hmm. Hmm. Then you'll be a face-to-face -face with danger. But these days, spells are warded against interference from flies. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. How about that? Even a song spell. It's great for when you want to make flies go away. Uh, um... I don't think you should be cutting up a body just to keep, keep away flies. But... In any case, I'm sure your master is worried about you right now. Hmm? Is something wrong? Hinko's mood changed. You're right. Well, maybe. He might be worried. Hmm. Himiko? What a pain. I'm too tired to talk. I'm going back to my room. Okay. Okay. See you later, then. So, it seems like... There's a weird... I don't know. There's like a weird, uh... Atmosphere there. Eh, anyway, we got more friendship skills with her. So, the yay! I watched Himiko walk away. And I returned to my own room. Himiko was acting strange for a minute there. I wonder what's wrong. Maybe we'll find out next time we have some free time. Most likely not now, but... Yeah, there's no music playing right now, too, so... If this is nighttime, which it is... Uh, are we gonna have training? Or is Kaito gonna still be pissed? Ahem. This is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy! The time is now 10 p.m. Nighttime has officially begun! Killers, this is your chance to strike. Victims, you have my condolences. Will you sleep like a baby tonight? Or sleep with the fishes? Either way, dreams. It's nighttime. I would have been training. Huh? I'll assume it's Maki. Got a minute? Hmm. Maki? What's wrong? Well... Kaito asked me earlier to show him my research lab. Huh? Huh? Your lab? <sighs> as I might as well show him, since I know he won't take no for an answer. So you have to come too. She wants me to go? Maki invited me, so I should go. Yeah, but why does Kaito want to see her lab? Oh my, do you think he's going to try killing, he wants to try killing me? Like, are you that pissed with me, dude? <laughs> um, so before I head out there, let me see. So, Kibo and Tsumugi are right there. Okay. That's where we need to go. Okay, so I guess, um, I'm guessing Himiko is sleeping. Um, Sumugi? What are you looking up for, uh, at the sky for? Huh? Oh, Shuichi! I was just looking at the stars a little. I remember something, uh, Gonta, something Gonta said before. What did Gonta say? Yeah. Remember? After Kirumi's trial? Now how she mentions it. Oh, I feel bad now. I, I forgot that he said this. Stars are always so pretty. The stars here are different. Not the same ones Gonta used to. Actually... I was just thinking. The stars really are pretty. I can't tell the difference, since I don't usually look at them, but they're pretty. That reminds me. I'd forgotten this feeling. With all the horrible things happening, 
I was always looking down. You're right. I need to think on time. You're right. You're right. Hey. Do you want to join me, Shuichi? Sorry. There's something I had to take care of. I see. Well, I'm going to stay here a little while longer. <sighs> you know, now that she mentioned... <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now that she mentioned that... With what Gonta said, like, the stars seem different. It's kind of further cementing a theory I have, but... We'll wait. We'll just wait. I, I, for, and I'm sure I, I can mention all my theories right now because it's like I wasn't expecting myself to have many, many, these many episodes recorded before, you know, um, I start uploading them to YouTube. But um, I, I always mention like I, I just avoid saying my theories because unfortunately, people spoil whether intentionally or unintentionally. And uh, they foreshadow, they do a lot of things, or they confirm or deny my theories, you know? And it just happened today, actually, as of today's recording. Not to me, but Lukajin, she's LPing Danganronpa 1. And she got to a very important segment the end, at the end of the fifth chapter, and somebody spoiled a decision that she didn't make. Everything. And it's like, I, she's like, I've been doing this for eight years, and blah, people still do this, and it's like... I can feel your pain. I've been doing this for almost nine years, and I feel I feel the pain, you know. So what can you do? Shuichi, it's already nighttime, Shuichi. What are you doing out uh, out and about at this hour? Okay. I promised to meet up with Maki. I see. Well, I have no intention of strictly upholding a curfew. Perhaps it's an old habit from my time on a student council, but I feel like I had to ask. That was only a few days ago. It feels like we formed a student council of Angie ages ago. A lot of things have happened since since then. We haven't had a, a moment to relax. Um. At any rate, please be careful. Being out during nighttime could result in another murder. Especially now, when we don't know Kokichi's whereabouts. You're right. I'll be careful. You know, and sometimes that kind of escapes my mind that it's been, all this has been happening over a period of days, maybe like a week or two, not not even, you know? And in all the other games, I think it's the same thing, same way too. It's like, damn, they gotta deal with all this nonsense in such a short period of time. Like all these people dying and all these plot twists. It's like, gee, it's, it's insane. Okay. So, here is Maki's lab. Still curious to know why Kaito wants to see it. <gasps> Excuse me. I don't know why I hiccup during recordings now. Ah, ah sorry I'm late. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, okay. Oh, so you came too. Uh, okay. Yeah. Silence. As if utterly bored by the painful silence, Maki started up a conversation. What are you trying to pull? Why did you ask me to see? Why did you ask to see my research? Why can't I talk? Why did you ask to see my research lab so suddenly, Kaito? Ah. Well, I just wanted to see what kind of weapons you were here. What? Why would you want to see my weapon? You know. But wow, there's a ton of stuff here. Can you use all these, Maki? Roll. I see. Yes, more or less. So... What was that? Did you guys see like a, like a little blue, like blurry? Uh, whatever. But there's no swords of any kind here. Japanese or Western, right? That's true. I don't use swords of any type. Not after I botched the mission with a katana. Hmm. Hmm. I see. Either way, I don't feel like weapons really suit women. Hey. Care to explain why you want to see my weapons? Ah. Didn't I tell you this morning? I got a plan figured out. Huh? Oh, what's in that black case over there? As if backing away from a conversation, Kaito headed to the, the far bookcase. So, what's in it? Is that some kind of weapon? Then, if you want to know, why don't you open it? Hmm. Let's see. And then Kaito pulled something from the black case. 
What's this? A bunch of parts? I see. Wait, hold on, really quick. Checking Twitter. That's... Never mind. Sorry about that. It's a disassembled crossbow. Hmm. Mm. So you put them together, they become a crossbow. Looks interesting. Hey, Makiro, can you teach me how to put it together? Sure, whatever. I don't mind. Put this and this together. Um, like this? And then put that other part in the opposite way. <sighs> Wait, that's wrong. Oh, my bad. It goes this way. Mm hmm. Then next it's. And I'm just like a third wheel standing there the entire time, all uh, awkward. While watching, while watching those two, the memory of a similar scene came to my mind. Oh, oh damn it! I still kind of miss her. Kaito struggling with Maki, uh, while Maki gave him instructions. Eventually, they succeed in putting together the crossbow. Whoa! Well, since I built it, it became an extra cool crossbow. So what? It doesn't matter who builds it, though. That's right. Well, it seems like it's a bit complicated, but I think I can do it by myself next time. Hey. Shuichi, do you want to learn too? No. Uh, no. It's all. That's all right. I sort of understand them from watching anyway. Hmm. Then let's put it away. You can easily take it apart by reversing the steps. Are you serious? Wait. Do I have to do it? That's right. Who else is going to do it? My bad. Yeah. Sorry. I don't feel too good again. What? Huh? Uh, it seems like I'm not at 100%. So I'm gonna go back first. Wait a minute. Hey! Ignoring Maki trying to stop him, Kaito fled the room. Uh, Jeez. I knew he wasn't the type to clean up, but I never thought he'd run away from a crappy lie. How, How frustrating. He's the worst. Well. Oh well, that's just Kaito. <sighs> You're the worst too. Huh? Well. I'm sure you know why I invited uh, why I invited you, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, I do. You were trying to get Kaito and I to make up. You don't know? It's not like he hates you or anything. He's just being stubborn. But I just don't know what to say to him. I had no choice. Going to if I didn't do something, everyone would have died. I... I don't think it'd be right to apologize for that. Hey! I'm sorry, Maki. I just... I just need more time. <sighs> I didn't realize you two would require such high maintenance. Sorry. But now she mentions it, I didn't realize it either. I didn't realize Maki would be so concerned about us. Thank you. See, I agree with, with Shuichi, though. It's like... He really doesn't have anything to apologize for. But something I've come to, like, you know, know... Growing up and as you get older, that... Sometimes for the sake of friendships... I mean, sometimes you gotta... Sometimes you gotta be a bigger person and just... Apologize so things can be squared away, you know? It's unfortunate, but sometimes, you know... Friendships can, like, end over very, very, very petty things, and you look back at it years later, like, well, that was stupid. You know, it's like, I even even when you know you're right or you feel like you're right, it's like, well, maybe I'm just a bigger person and say, okay, I'm sorry. Things will be different, but that's life. At least that's, that's from how I, you know, look at it anyway. In the end, I was the one who ended up disassembling a crossbow. After I had finished, I returned to my room. Just like always, we're surrounded by problems. This academy is full of mysteries, and I'm worried about Kokichi. And then there's the... thing with Ka me and Kaito. All right. I need to make up with him. For us. And for Maki. I fell asleep thinking about it. Damn it. 
Why? Why now? Why me? Damn it. I'm running out of time. I can't die like this. Like hell am I gonna die here? I, st I still haven't gone to space. Damn it. Recklessness is a beautiful thing. It's so beautiful, I want to print the words Reckless Beauty on a t-shirt. Because recklessness is the stuff that dreams are made of. It's what makes you run at full speed, with no regard for your limitations. It's what makes you excited by anything. Some say it's foolish, but recklessness is what causes new events to unfold. So while you're still alive, live your life so recklessly that it makes you immortal. And if haters laugh at you, lift them! They just don't appreciate reckless beauty like you do. So is that like a predator or is that a commando reference they were doing with that image there? Both movies are great. Ahem. This is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy! Rise and shine, kiddos! It's another gorgeous day for a killing game! So get out there, embrace your homicidal urges, and have a fabulous day! I'm sure everyone's gathered in a dining hall. I should go too. In the next episode, I, like it, it just seems right. It's a good stopping point. And right now, I'm just taking a quick look to see where everyone else is at. It looks like just Team Co's by herself outside so far. So, uh, yeah, okay, sounds good then. But we'll do that in the next episode. I'm sure, you know, maybe a little bit more plot will happen, but I'm assuming there's going to be more free time. And we'll take things from there. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time for Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Love you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe for future content, where I aim to release a video a day. And if you do subscribe, make sure to click on the bell symbol to be notified once new videos are uploaded. You can also catch me streaming from time to time on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to relax with other gamers. All this information is in the description box below. Have a great day.